That's Chicago's own Max Struess, making sure everyone in the organization felt included in the celebration. And now he's joining us here on Football Night in Chicago. Max Struess, welcome to Football Night in Chicago, coming to us live from his hotel room in Denver. Max, thank you so much for joining us, probably on very minimal sleep. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough 24 hours, but uh, very happy. Uh, happy to see you again. Hope you're doing well and uh, happy to be here. Thanks. For those who don't know, I covered Max when I was in Miami prior to moving to Chicago. So now, of course, we get to have him on my first night in football uh, night in America. So, uh, Max, talk us through that moment, will you? Why was it important to you to make sure that everyone got their picture with the trophy? To be honest with you, I didn't I didn't really think any anything of it. Um, it just felt normal to me to, you know, to, to cherish the moment with everybody that was on the plane. We all have a part in this. Everybody has a role. Um, and I just, I didn't think anything of it to, to bring it back to the back of the plane to, to share with everybody. Um, I just thought that was completely normal and that's what happened. Um, I've never really won at this level or, or really anything really in my career. So um, this is all new to me and uh, I just thought uh, it'd be nice to share it with everybody. I would like to know some of the other things that took place on that plane, but I won't ask you that tonight. Uh, from play into the NBA Finals, the world just didn't see this coming, Max, as you know, but knowing the way that your team works, you guys aren't surprised you're here, are you? Not at all. Not at all. Um, it was a, definitely an up-and-down year. Um, a lot of struggles to get to where we are, but um, you know, all those struggles throughout the season you know, prepared us for these moments to you know, be strong throughout this playoff push and um, just continue to be resilient. So much, Max, has been made about the undrafted guys on your roster. I know you're so sick of this narrative. Caleb Martin, Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, of course you. What is it about the Miami Heat for the people in Chicago who don't consume the Miami media that haven't heard this narrative maybe as much? What is it about the Heat that identifies you guys and allows you to grow? Um, I think it's just our, our personalities. Um, all of us have been through so much in our lives and in our careers to get to where we are. Um, so we just know that nothing can stop us from where we want to be. Um, and we all believe in ourselves to the, to the fullest and uh, all of our teammates believe in each other as well. So um, it, it's, it's amazing to share, you know, moments like this with, with all the undrafted guys. Uh, we are getting sick of it, but at the same time, it's, it's still a little chip on our shoulder that we're always going to have throughout our career. So, um, you know, everybody talking about it kind of just makes everything a little sweeter. Yeah, keep that chip. It's working. Uh, I want to talk to you quickly about Denver. You get to take two days to kind of take a breath, maybe. What goes into preparing for a team that's coming off a lot of rest and also they've been tearing through the postseason? Yeah, yeah they're phenomenal. Um, you know, they got a very good basketball player. They got two very good basketball players um, that have been killing the whole postseason. So, um, you know, we haven't really dug into them yet. We've been focusing on the Eastern Conference, but um, you know, tomorrow we'll, we'll do a deep dive and um, really understand what we're going up against and um, try to figure out what, what's best um, for us to stop them. You have a pretty special relationship with Jimmy Butler uh, here in Chicago. Everyone seems to continue to root for him even after he's no longer wearing a Bulls jersey. What have you enjoyed about playing alongside uh, who I personally think has been the best player in the playoffs? Yeah, I would agree with you. Um, it's just been special. Um, you know, when I was a kid growing up in Chicago, he was, you know, it was him and Derrick Rose were, were my favorite players watching. So um, to be able to, you know, be on his team, to, to share in this journey of his, and, um, you know, be such a special moment on his career has been um, nothing short of astonishing. I mean, I'm just so happy to be here and happy to help him. Um, but honestly, he deserves it. Uh, he deserves to be here. He deserves to, you know, everybody... Um, shining the light his way and uh, he, he's a special player and a special player in this league and uh, he's can he's car carried us to this point and, and we'll continue to do that well max we're so happy for you here in the midwest and we're obviously rooting for you a chicago boy yourself i have to ask you this is a football show how big of a bears fan are you pretty big i, I mean i love the bears i've always loved them since i've um, been growing up you know my cousins have season tickets uh, two sets of cousins have season tickets so um, when I was younger and, and was around more, I, I always went to went to the games at home. And, um, you know, I think we got a bright future coming. And, uh, you know, we got a quarterback in Justin Fields. And um, I'm excited for what the future holds for our Bears. I know you're a little busy this time of year, but have you been following this Bears offseason at all? And what are your impressions of some of the moves maybe you've heard about? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know we uh, we went out and 
you know, got some guys off the free agent market, um, got a good draft pick in the in the big offensive lineman. And, um, you know, it feels like we're taking the right steps to, you know, build this around a winning program. And uh, I couldn't be more excited for that. Yeah, we could maybe use a little heat culture down here. That, that would be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> hey, you mentioned Justin Fields. Obviously, a lot of expectations for that guy uh, taking that next jump. Do you have any words of advice coming from someone who's taken quite a few jumps, I would say, the last couple of years? Just continue to be you. Uh, he's special in what he does. Uh, he's a special talent, and, um, you know, they don't make a lot of quarterbacks like him. So continue to be yourself and um, believe in it and, and lead the team. I mean, everybody in the city – um, loves him, and we all believe in him. So we all got his – he's got our, our full support, and, uh, you know, we're, we're looking, uh, like I said, just brighter brighter uh, future ahead. Max Truss, we love you. We believe in you. We're so excited. I think there are a lot of Heat fans here in Chicago as we follow your career. So uh, keep it up. Keep it going. Get some rest. Uh, we can't thank you enough for joining us tonight. Will do. Thank you very much.